But the other example, uh, more, something more recent that I wrote about, about the overlap of branding, advertising, and SEO, right. is just in brands' homepage meta descriptions. If you go to Google and you type Macy's right now, you're going to see one of the most hideously written, I don't even know if it's written or, or like if it's just pulling the text from the page, but like Macy's, for example, has not done a good job of crafting a great meta description that mm -hmm. literally millions of people a month are seeing when they go to Google and they type Macy's or any, you know, it's probably like 10 million people are seeing this meta description. Wow. And you yeah. factor in all the ways that homepage is showing up in the search results. Yet Macy's or these big brands will spend millions of dollars in the name of branding and advertising and messaging to try to get us to think or feel a certain way about their company. If they're not going to take the extra half an hour or hour to like actually write 156 characters that speak to us in a way that resonates in the same way they're trying to do with advertising or branding or messaging. And I was inspired by, by this uh, idea. I was listening to a podcast called Building Your Brand Story with Donald Miller. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. By an iTunes. And he talks about making your consumer the hero, right? Using the hero's journey in all of your marketing places, not just when you write an article, not mm -hmm. when you just do a podcast, but like even down to like the hero image in the heading on your homepage. And when I heard this, I said, why can't we apply this to meta description, right? So the post I wrote, I went and I found 15 brand, I think it was 15, 15 brands like... I think some of them were like maybe Uber, like all the common ones that are actually using a great meta description that make their customer the hero, right? They use, they speak to the customer in the second person. They use words like your, mm -hmm. and like they speak to your emotions. So they basically like, when I analyzed this, they all broke it down into the three things that Donald Miller talked about on his podcast. When you're trying to make your customer the hero, you show them the problem. Mm -hmm. You show empathy. You show them that you understand their problem they're going through. Absolutely. You highlight the solution, that the solution is on that URL that you want them to click. And then you show them what the outcome is going to be of that <laughs> solution. So yep. you can actually do that in 156 characters like I showed in my post. Is that really SEO? I don't know. I mean, it's not. It's in the meta description, but it's not impacting your rankings. Right. But it's something that an SEO would be would care about. But it's also something that I would think as a brand you would care about as well because millions of people potentially are seeing this messaging in the search results. Absolutely. And I think you're, you're striking a chord into something that <clears throat> we would hope that SEOs um, respect and uh, aspire to achieve. They are marketers. They're not just tacticians and technicians. They are marketers, and they hold a particular role inside of convincing and converting. Or we'll give a shout out to our Jay Bayer fans, right? To be able to give them, uh, give the consumers a roadmap of what value you're going to find at that website. They SEOs have to uh, don the hat of uh, persuasion marketing. Um, I mean, this is the buyer's journey, the Maslow's hierarchy of needs, and and Everything's around this. Understanding, uh, empathizing with 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 the the user's plight, right? And then getting into a solution, offering up a solution into that decision. I mean, there's three stages, there's five stages, seven stages, whatever they break it down to. But it's exactly that. It's it's connecting emotionally with a consumer, and you can have dry websites that can be incredibly large websites, but they're not connecting with their customers uh, at the point of you know, the contextual knowledge of the SERP. So, I mean, it's yeah. a very important role that the SEOs still have in this space because they're the, t the technical purveyors of this marketing message, right? And I think I'm just going to read two examples because I know as a podcast listener myself, I love to actually hear the example. So yeah. Macy's, the one that I'm saying is a bad meta description, this is literally their meta description. When you go to Google, you type Macy's, it says Macy's. Free shipping at Macy's.com. Macy's has the latest fashion brands on women's and men's clothing, accessories, jewelry, beauty, shoes, and home, dot, dot, dot. It's terrible. Like, <laughs> it's poor. Like, it doesn't tell me anything, like, about how I should feel or, like, why I should care about Macy's as a company. Right. Which is pretty but, accurate with Macy's. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So, yeah, some of these are just the problem with the Customer brand, right? Over there. But um, one example I love is Mod Cloth, for example. So, I didn't even know what Mod Cloth was until I went to SEMRush. I put anthropology in there to look for other companies that might be doing cool things. Right. And I found Mod Cloth. And it, 
actually, I'm going to read their title and description. So their title is Montcloth Women's Vintage Style Fashion Clothing and Decor. Great. Got my keywords. I know exactly what they sell. Sure. The meta description starts with feel confident, look stunning, and be the best you. Nice. That is awesome, right? I want to be the best I'm, me I can. That's I'm going right. to go buy a dress from Modcloth. <laughs> yeah. If I, was a, if I was in the market for a dress, <laughs> it would tell me how I would feel watching that, right? But then it continues. <laughs> Shop Modcloth for fashionable vintage style, must-haves, including clothing, swimwear, decor, shoes, and more. So great. There's my products, yeah. my keywords. But it begins with that feel confident, look stunning, and be the yeah. best you. Now, I have a sense as a user, like how I might feel potentially or you know, what I aspire to yep. if I were to shop there. So I think that's one of many of the 15 examples I have in my post there. But we, um, we tell people it's a call to action, right? I mean, it, it, you wouldn't, you wouldn't put that Macy's explanation on an advertisement and put it in a magazine, you know, exactly. and that's, Would and you that's that on a billboard. Yeah. 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 